Hello, I am going to demonstrate how to use Scupper to create a network of Kubernetes clusters uh, in which a Kubernetes service can be accessed from anywhere within that network. And what I'm going to do is um, take four of my clusters, I have four clusters running right now, two of them um, in AWS in the public cloud, US West, South America East. Um, I've got one on a private server in Raleigh, Durham, and I've got another one running on my laptop. And the RDU um, cluster is actually an instance of um, OpenShift version 3.11. I am going to deploy Scupper on each of my locations, each of my clusters, in my namespace. I am going to uh, create connection tokens for the two public ones, in US West and South America East. I'm going to use those tokens to create connections, to establish connections in this topology where uh, the privates connect up into the public and the publics connect to each other. I am then going to deploy a vanilla um, normal HTTP service running in RDU private. I'm going to create an annotation on that service, a scupper specific annotation, and that is going to um, cause a proxy service to be set up in the other locations that will allow me to access that service from anywhere in the network. Let's get started. So um, I'm logged in now. I've got a shell into each of my locations. And I'm going to start by uh, deploying scupper. Scupper init is the command I use. I will run this in each of my locations. And then in my public locations, I'm going to create a connection token connection token and um, this token is then stored in a local file which I will call uh, in this case US West .yaml. connection token SA East .yaml. and then I will use uh, that token I will use uh, I'm going to connect SA East to US West so I'm going to escape Copper connect um, US West. Uh, these shells are on the same uh, directory, so because these are on my laptop, I can share those files. Now, uh, the RDU I'm shelled into, and it's a remote server, so it does not have access to these files, so I need to copy them over there. So I'm going to do this using SCP. Um, SCP, the, the copy over there. Oops. And now that they're here, I will say scupper connect US West and connect SA East. And then on my laptop, connect US West. OK. And now that I've done this, I, I'm going to say uh, cube control get services just to see what's going on out here. So I've got th two services running on each of these. And these are just uh, part of the scupper inter um, scupper um, infrastructure. So I've got a couple services that are just f you know, supporting Scupper. Um, and likewise, um, I'll use OC here, get services. And I should have um, those same two services. This remote system is a little slower. Um, okay, now I am going to apply a YAML here where I'm going to deploy a simp simple uh, application called HTTP simple and it's going to be exposed um, in behind this uh, service called my service. So now if I say OC get services again I will see that in addition to my scupper services I've got the my service and if I curl to that uh, HTTP colon slash slash I just go to the service IP um, and the service port, and I'll put some path. Um, I get a response back, and what it does is just echoes back the path that I provided, but it also provides the name or the identity of the uh, pod that serviced the request. So what I'm going to do now is I am going to um, annotate that. So if I uh, if I do the annotate command where um, I I'm doing a straight Kubernetes, Kubernetes annotate of the service. I'm telling it that I'm using the scupper IO slash proxy, and I want to be exposing the service as an HTTP service. 
And once I do that, if I come back to my laptop and have a look at the services that are available, I will actually see that there's not just the scupper, but there's also a, an additional one. Now there's no pod running here. My application is only running on RDU, but it is now accessible across the network. Um, so if I curl from here, HTTP colon slash slash the uh, service IP port 8080, another path, and I'll get the response back another path but you'll see that the uh, the identity of the pod that serviced my request is the same as the one that was running over on RDU so what has happened now is I have um, I have my network set up where the service is only running here at RDU in a private network there's no routes here there's no um, ex expos there's no way to uh, reach into this uh, from a network perspective but my laptop because it's running in the Scupper network, is able to access that service via US West out to RDU Private. Thank you very much.